Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these timelines in PowerPoint and this one's compatible with Google Slides because I get too many requests to do things on Google Slides so stay around. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously change the color of the background and then we're gonna insert our first date. So in my case I'll be doing a technology timeline and my first date is 1967. So for this text, I use a very bold uh, font, which is Beavis New. And I just changed the color to white. And here I'll have the title of my first item in the timeline. So this one will be the floppy disk. And again, I'm just going to make it larger, change the color. And then I'll add a line from the shapes panel. And if you hold shift, you will get a perfectly straight line. And this will be our connecting line throughout the slides. So it needs to be very visible and perfectly aligned in the middle of the slide. Now I'll add a little description here. So I'm just using placeholder text, but here you can maybe mention some facts about the um, whatever item you're talking about or whatever uh, event that you're talking about. And remember that you can align everything if you select the text boxes and then go to shape format, align and align to left or right, depending on your design. And then we're going to insert an image. So I just looked for a floppy disk PNG. And then I just paste it into the slide, uh, made it smaller, and we might have to realign the elements a little bit so everything can fit within the slide. But essentially this will be the same design that I will apply to the rest of my slides. To create the second slide, you have to duplicate the first one with Ctrl D. And now this one will be easier because we just have to replace um, the title, we have to replace the date, and we have to replace the image as well. However, for this one, we're going to duplicate the line by holding Ctrl on our keyboard and then just drag it to the, to the left hand side. And then we're going to create a rectangle that's going to take the whole area of our slide because this will be uh, for our background to create like a very smooth transition with the first slide. So you right click and send to back and then you can change the color from, from the format shape panel and then go to animations and click on fade, click on the animation pane and here you'll see uh, this element here. So right click and start with previews for the transition to be seamless. Then again, you can um, add your image. So in this case, it will be a CD. And this is a, a free PNG that I found on Google. And for the third slide, you have to duplicate the second slide with Ctrl D. And first, you're going to right click on the gray area, go to format background and change the color to the one that you applied to the shape on the first slide. And then click on the shape that you did and change the color to um, the new one, to the one that you want. And then you just have to replace the, again, the, the text, the date, the images. But before we continue, please make sure you're subscribed if you want to get new PowerPoint tutorials each week. Okay, so the last thing to do for the design is obviously to add our image. So in this case, it's just a PNG of a USB stick. And then we'll go back to the first slide, click on every single element, go to animations, click on fly in and from effect options, select from right. And then you can click on the animation pane and select all the items there. Right click effect options and then timing, select start with previous. And I changed the duration to one second and then just smooth the end. Now the last thing to do is to select all of the slides go to transitions and click on push. And from the effect options, we're going to select from right. If you're doing this presentation in Google Slides, select all of them, go to slide, click on transition, and then from this panel, select slide from right, and then apply to all slides. 
And this is the final result. This is how I did this timeline in PowerPoint. And you can really play with the effect options of the transitions to change the direction and maybe do something like this, which is also very creative and much more interesting than a regular timeline. And remember, if you want to download PowerPoint templates, you can go to lurutiapbt.gumroad.com. I have a few of them. They include instructions, animations, and all of that. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.